Quick Look, AirDrop and Spotlight are a few features that make macOS incredibly convenient. But what if you could have these features and more on Windows, so you get the best of both worlds? This is what we'll be doing in this video. Seamlessly integrate the best macOS features into your Windows computer. We'll start with quick access, then dive into file management, then move on to ecosystem integration, after that Apple Store level app management, and then we'll end with other small but impactful enhancements like better text rendering quick access if you miss mac os's spotlight fluent search is a fast powerful and highly customizable alternative for searching files and launching apps on windows beyond that it can also search open windows perform web searches interact with chat gpt or even quickly calculate something fluent search also has advanced features like tags and machine learning though we won't dive into those in this video if you prefer something simpler flow launcher is another lightweight option that works great when paired with everything search a fast search engine that instantly locates files and folders by file name for windows but that doesn't offer a search bar like fluent search or flow launcher by the way everything mentioned in this video is going to be linked in the description if you want guidance check the documentation links in the description or ask me in the comments if you want an in-depth guide on anything let me know too another very handy mac os feature is quick look which lets you preview the file content instantly by pressing the spacebar you can use an app called quick look on windows to do the same although you probably already know about it. i use it every day when performing different file management tasks in file explorer for example after i finish screen recording these videos i often organize the files based on the app i'm talking about and sometimes i forget the content of the footage that i record so i quickly preview the videos by using the arrow keys and skim through them to remember what they are about and be able to name and organize them effectively i also use it for general tasks like previewing a zip folder or short audio files like sound effects without having to open a full media player alternatively microsoft's power to speak provides a similar feature though it can be slower and supports fewer file types compared to quick look. If you got any value so far, please consider subscribe. File management. Mac OS's finder lets you navigate to a folder by typing its name in the go to folder command bar. It also enables you to open a files path by dragging it from your finder window to the open save dialog. Both of these features you can get on Windows and more by using Listeri. You can simply type directly inside File Explorer to quickly start searching without needing any shortcuts. It is super fast. I can then perform actions by right clicking the item or by using Ctrl O, like opening parent folder or opening a new window. A scenario where I use Listeri often is when I am looking for a file inside a folder. For example, looking for a paper texture in this textures folder. I can also quickly preview files by pressing Alt P. Or when I only remember the first letter of a file name, Listeri will find all the files that start with that letter. You can navigate this interface with keyboard shortcuts without needing to touch the mouse. You can open items by using Ctrl 1 to Ctrl 9. Additionally, Listeri enables clicking inside the file explorer window and again on an open save dialog to automatically open the files path, saving you from manually copying and pasting. Or, an even better way to do this is click on the search bar that appears under open save dialog to open the folder that is currently open in file explorer. Or, use the quick switch shortcut that you can customize in the settings. You can also find and navigate to the folders that you've opened recently by using the history feature. When macOS users switch to Windows, they often miss the columns view and tags from Finder. Luckily, you can get similar features using the Files app. The columns view is especially handy when you're browsing through folders and are not looking for a specific file. The columns view lets me quickly jump to different folders without having to go back to the main directory each time. For example, if I'm searching for a background image for a video, I might find it in different folders like textures, backgrounds, motion backgrounds, or even Windows wallpapers. The columns view lets me quickly jump to different folders without having to go back to the main directory each time. Tags, which are also available in the Files app, like in macOS Finder, can be useful for organizing files. Personally, I don't use tags much, but others might find them helpful. macOS has a feature called Smart Folders in Finder that lets you filter files by name 
extension, date and other properties and save these searches for quick access. On Windows, you can achieve a similar result using everything search that includes a bookmarks feature which works like smart folders but with more flexibility. For example, I have a textures folder with multiple subfolders. Sometimes when I don't have a specific texture in mind, I want to browse through all of them without having to click into each subfolder. Everything search allows me to do this and save the search for later, similar to smart folders. To achieve this, I use ChatGPT to help write a regex command, which is like a programming language. You need to enable regex and everything search for this to work. If the initial command that ChatGPT provides doesn't work as expected, you can refine it by providing more specific details and asking for adjustments until it works as expected. Once the search is set up, I apply filters to only show image files and switch to a large icons view, creating an easy to navigate view of all my textures. I then save the search as a bookmark by going to bookmarks, add to bookmarks. To make accessing this search even faster, assign a macro or keyboard shortcut to open the bookmark instantly. On macOS, Finder allows you to set a default folder that opens each time you launch the app. Windows offers a similar option with Win Arrow Tweaker, an app that provides fine-grained control over various Windows settings. One of its features lets you change the startup folder for File Explorer. To do this, open Win Arrow Tweaker, search for starting folder and choose from the built-in options or select your own custom folder by browsing for its location. Ecosystem In terms of ecosystem integration, Windows is catching up to macOS. You can sync iPhone images directly in the Photos app using iCloud integration. For AirDrop alternatives on Windows, you have several options. You can use apps like PhoneLink or Intel Unison. Another option is to use a website like Snapdrop or Wormhole. Alternatively, you can set up a shared folder between Windows and your iPhone. I personally use this method because my PC doesn't support phone links, Bluetooth requirements, and sharing files over the internet can be slower, unreliable, and potentially less secure. I go more in depth about Windows and iPhone ecosystem features in this video that will appear in the top right corner. Quick Actions On macOS, the right-click menu includes a Quick Actions option that allows you to perform tasks like converting files and marking up images. You can replicate the markup quick action using ShareX, an advanced screenshot tool. To enable this feature, navigate to the application settings, go to integration and turn on the option to show the edit with ShareX button in the Windows Explorer context menu. Now, whenever you right click on an image file, you'll see the edit with ShareX option, allowing you to easily mark up images directly in the ShareX editor. While Windows does offer a built-in way to mark up images using the snipping tool, it lacks a quick right-click option. For remove background, you can use the Photos app. And to replace the Convert Image Quick Action, use File Convert. It supports a wide range of file types, audio, video, images, and documents, all integrated into the context menu. Store and Application Management On macOS, most apps are available through the Apple App Store, which makes downloading and updating apps a seamless process. To bring that same convenience to Windows, you can use Winget UI, an excellent app manager that brings together apps from GitHub, external websites, and the Microsoft Store all in one place using package managers like Winget and Chocolate. Winget UI isn't designed for discovering new apps, but is perfect when you know exactly what you want to install. Simply search for the app, download it, and Winget UI will handle the installation without needing you to go through any setup process. It also keeps your apps updated if they're part of these package managers. Winget UI even goes beyond the App Store by offering features like package bundles. These bundles allow you to group apps together so you can install them all at once. You can also save these bundles for later for when you're setting up a new PC or want to share them with someone else. I'll create bundles for the apps mentioned in this video organized by the categories I've covered and I'll leave them in the description for you to download. Small stuff here and there. Scrolling on macOS is fluid and smooth. On Windows, it's choppy. Smooth scroll helps make scrolling on Windows as fluid as it is on macOS. The text and UI on macOS looks good. On Windows, with lower resolution monitors, text can appear blurry and unclear. To fix this, watch the video in the top right corner which will guide you through upscaling your monitor to 4K. This process improves the quality of the user interface by rendering it at a higher resolution.
When a document or project has not been saved, on macOS, a dot inside the red close button appears. On Windows, you might not know this, but an asterisk shows up in the title bar on programs like Adobe Premiere Pro to indicate the same thing. Notepad shows a circle inside the tab. A handy feature in macOS is Hot Corners, which lets you perform actions like showing the desktop by moving your mouse to a screen corner. Windows has a built-in option to show the desktop by clicking the bottom right corner, but it requires a left click, unlike macOS. To replicate hot corners on Windows, you can use an app called WinX Corners. For example, I set the bottom left corner to open the start menu so I can just hover the mouse instead of clicking the Windows logo. I also use the bottom right to show the desktop, the upper left to hide an active Windows, and the upper right to trigger task view and show all windows. You can customize these actions and even create your own commands by right clicking the icon in the system tray and opening advanced. To make file explorer even better, click to watch the video on screen right now.